how could we be happy in our life? This may be the mind-boggling question for all of us. And many people, from a spiritual people to the scientists have searched the secret behind the happy life. They claim, everyone claim that they have found the answer. Everyone claim that they have their own perspective to this happy life. But the point is, still we are not having our life happily. We are still, we are in misery. Though we have searched for happiness, though we have been through the journey of happiness, still, but still, our life does not seem to be happy. So, happiness now became like God. We, we believe in God, but we never have seen it. Like that. Happiness also. We think life is not only about misery. Life is not only about sadness. Life is not, not only about all these obstacles. But life is also about happiness, joy, ecstasy. We, we believe in that manner, but we haven't been through that. And we found many people claiming that they have found the secret. But what is that secret? They never reveal. If they reveal, they were just a personified definition or just a one dimensional definition of happiness, which is not valid for every human life. So, this is the search for a happiness for every human life. What is then the secret of happiness? To know about the secret of happiness, let us talk. Let us know about what happiness is. There is two dimensions of happiness. One is happiness is related with the chemical enzymes produce chemical hormones produced in our body, like serotonin and many more. And nextly, happiness is the state where you feel like you are feeling, you are being to a real ecstatic, a real enjoying time. Means you are enjoying the matter, ex incident happening in your life. That is happiness. And the, about serotonin, about the induction of serotonin, but there is lots more theory and scientists also have investigated this fact but the point is how to induce that serotonin that is the important point and we believe spirituality is the only way to have a happy life to have bliss in life though, though spirituality never means we have to be related with any religion, we have to be related with any spiritual master, we have to be related with any ethnical group, or we have to be related with any community. But spirituality is, means to be being yourself. The very moment you be yourself, then the happiness start to happen in your life. The very moment you accept that you are the only, you are the master of yourself, then the, all this misery disappears in your life. From Buddha to <coughs> Roman Maharshi, everyone have stated that. And, and the conclusion of all these spiritual enlightened masters is same. They have found the same conclusion. That is, being yourself is only the secret of happiness. Then how to be happy or how to we can be ourselves. That may be a popular question for you. Because you feel like you are always yourself. That's not true. You are never yourself. If you are yourself, then there is no question of misery. There is no question of any pain in your life. Because pain and misery are relative phenomena. It only exists on the relative frame of reference of other community, society, and 
whole humanity. What they have defined on that frame of reference, all this misery and the, all this pain depends on. So, if you be yourself, means there is no question of any pain in your life, any misery in your life. And if that pain, if that incident which tend to be painful, which tend to be miserable in your life, then they automatically get converted to the bliss. They automatically get converted to the happiness. Because all these things are only depend on how we think towards things. What is your what is our perspective like that? For example, if your father slap in your cheek, then you feel like he is loving you. And in the, in, the, in the same context, in some uh, some unknown people just touch you, then you feel you get angry, you feel pain out there. If he slap, he or she slap you, then you may be so angry, so you may be so anxious. That is the only problem because there only slapping is not absolutely the reason for pain or happiness. But on the reference, frame of reference, on the frame of perception, that it depends on how to be happiness. Same to our life. To the this is this is just imp implemented on whole process of our life. How we do that? How we perceive the thing? Not every time the failure people or failure in your life means to be the misery. Not having enough money, not every time lead to the misery. Because if you change your perception, like the people who were poor in their former life and now they are rich in their early time they were poor they have changed the perspective they do not sit by sitting they do not sit by just appealing to God for money they think they think it is an opportunity and now they are rich and now they are no they have just sustained the perception towards their poverty and now they are they have reached their effects like that so happiness is all about our perception how we will look to the thing how we will look to the incident so there is nothing like happiness there is nothing like pain and there is nothing like misery and the, on the only secret of happiness is knowing this, is being awakened. You need to awake from your dream. You need to awake from your poor perception. You need to awake from your prejudiced perception. The very moment you succeed to awake from your all these perceptions developed by the society, developed by the family, developed by the country and developed by the humanity. And the very moment you feel like you are the own and only being, you are the masterpiece to yourself, you have your own rule to life. The very time you feel like that, there is no chance that sadness arrives in your life. There is no chance. And all these happy people you have seen or you have known about is about that. They have understood that. They have developed their own rule. They have developed their own way of perception. Now they are happy. And the one who rely on God, on the one who rely on society, on the one who rely on the all these distinguished people and their de and, and and the thing they have developed then it's sure because no one can define about your life no one can give you a single clue how to live your life because you yourself are a masterpiece you need to have your own rule no one's rule work on your life neither your rule works on others life so 
Be the master of yourself. Be yourself. Awake, awake, awake. Only I want to say, if you do that, happiness, you will be destroyed with. Thank you.